When it comes to wet macro degeneration, you know, uh, the first thing that people think at the first visit they have is how am I going to survive an injection in the eye? <laughs> and it's really difficult to uh, explain to patients that um, the treatment that we, we administer in the office that they're going to likely need for the rest of their lives, perhaps on a monthly or every other month basis, um, is really not painful and uh, has minimal side effects and is, is safe. It's actually the most common medical procedure performed in, in the United States, intravitreal injections. And uh, that's the first thing I say to patients, you know, and I also say to them, you know, we do an average of anywhere from 20 to 40 injections in a day, in a single day. And our waiting room is, is busy because patients, A, understand they need treatment to continue to see, and B, it's not so bad that they don't ever come back. They do. And we do an excellent job in our practice and through the work of, of many others in the retina world and the retina community that have come up with techniques and ways to minimize not only the discomfort during treatment, but after treatment. Um, and so from a standpoint of you know, fear, that's the first kind of burden for patients. They, they're fearful of it in the beginning. But once they get a treatment, they'll usually say something like, you know, the flu shot or the COVID vaccine was worse than getting an injection in the eye. And that's, it's hard to believe, but it, it, it's true most of the time. Uh, the, the, the second kind of big burden to care is, is, or I should say the barrier to care it, or adherence is the, the, the actual burden of treatment. Uh, this disease is a lifelong disease for patients. There is no curative treatment yet. And so the patients that come in, they usually don't drive. Uh, they may live alone in a, or in assisted living, and they need someone to transport them back and forth to their appointments. So they rely on friends and family, and they, you know, have to come in. You know, they have to see their retina doctor more than they see their grandkids sometimes. So it's a really, really high burden of treatment for these patients. And so I think the theme for our upcoming drugs in the pipeline is to reduce treatment burden, sustained delivery. I think the more that we have access to and develop safe versions of these medicines in the future, the more compliance we'll have. Um, because when it comes to treatment burden, uh, it's really, really difficult for patients and families to maintain. Uh, one of the other burdens is these patients are old and they are sick and they are they have many other medical problems. So there are other appointments they go to, they get hospitalized so they can be um, out, of, uh, out of our uh, office for a number of months because of a hospital hospitalization or rehabilitation sometimes. And we'll see them come back and their vision will have dropped and their exudation is worse and we have to retreat them and try to get them back on track. So um, it's a variety of factors. There's fear, there's a treatment burden, and then there's just the the other things that come with getting older in life, just getting sick outside of their, their ocular condition. Those are the, the main things that we deal with on a daily basis.